Hello heathens, it's Leon and as of today, I am two days on testosterone. On March 11th, I got my prescription. It was sent while I was on a bus four hours throughout Finland. Uh, yeah, so that happened. It was quite a drive. And then I went to the pharmacy, but they did not have testosterone. So I was like, okay, well, let's just wait then. Then the coronavirus um, required the class to get sent back home as so not to, you know, put ourselves and others in danger by traveling further. So we went back home. I got my prescription on Friday the 13th of March and I got my shot at 8 25 p.m. that evening. So yeah, I'm on testosterone now and I'm so relieved. I'm so happy. It's It's been a journey. Honestly, I'm going in this video. I'm going to go through the process of starting testosterone here in Norway What it was like for me and then um, Yeah, I'm going to show you the video of my first tea shot So let's just get started on April well, no, let's actually get started with my um, Referral my first referral it was sent I think on the 8th of November in 2018. I got my first appointment around in January. It was set for April 23rd and then it had to wait four months for my next appointment which was a hassle. Deal with like all of summer break, just do nothing. Well I worked out but that was it and then on August 18th I got my second appointment. At that appointment, I was able to convince the doctor to let me have my third and fourth appointment at Dix Hospitala, like in one. So on November, I had to wait three months then. On November the 13th, I went there and like answered loads of forms. Uh, just like to make sure I don't have like schizophrenia and I'm not bipolar and have personality disorders I don't um, so I knew like I was going to go all right um, Then I had my first diagnosed appointment on the 16th of December 2019 and then my last diagnosed appointment on January 22nd in 2020 this year then I had to wait one week for them to sort of agree that yes yeah, starting testosterone is right for this man young man right here and i was just in pain that whole week because my last diagnosis went to hell as you probably know if you follow me on instagram and i was upset the whole week basically because i was like okay i'm not getting testosterone probably maybe they will make me wait until after summer which is when i'm going to study and that would be a fucking tragedy for me because i've waited for this so long already and i'm 19 years old i'm going to study at university and i want to you know look like i actually you know could be a cis guy in the very least like okay at least this man has hit puberty and changes are happening uh, so maybe i'm just a late bloomer and i could go stealth if that is something I want. I haven't really decided on that yet. But then I, well, I didn't actually get my call. I was supposed to get my call, but I did not on the 28th. So I called them myself on the 29th of January. Yeah. And we set up my endocrinology appointment. I went there on the 4th of March, which was last week. I went to Oslo and talked to the doctor. I had to wait for like 30 minutes because Mm-hmm, yeah, waiting, as if I haven't waited enough already, but you know, 30 minutes compared to the whole fucking year, and then those seven years before that again, you know, it's nothing. So then I met up with my endocrinologist, I did not have to like explain my whole life story again, which I had done to like three people already, so that was nice, and then he just said, yeah, okay, let's go do some blood tests and you'll probably be fine, but we know we just have to do this to be sure that you aren't fucked up, you know? So I got my blood test done and, well, one week later I got my prescription, but I couldn't take it out, as I said. So yeah, now I'm on testosterone and let's draw the clip of me getting my first testosterone shot. Ja. 
So that's it really. I'm so excited for the changes that are coming. So far yesterday, I noticed like this, it felt like there was a ball in my throat or as if I was just trying to swallow something, but it just got stuck, but I could still breathe just fine. So it was just this weird tightness in my throat really. It's not Corona, I'm good, I'm healthy y'all, no worries. It's just this tightness. I'm sort of used to it now, but I can still feel it. It's just, I got used to it, so it doesn't really hurt as much anymore. Uh, I'm expecting that to get like worse, so as voice changes come along. Yeah, and I don't know, but I was a bit irritated as well yesterday. I don't know, some people get changes sooner than others. Uh, it depends on the person. So I just hope if changes come for me this soon, hopefully I will look you know, more masculine really soon. That would be great. I I think I would be much more confident and in, especially in terms of like dating, it would be much easier for me when I pass better. I already do pass quite well really. I don't really get misgendered, I think. So um, yeah, but people just think, they people assume I'm gay, uh, which you know, a bit, I guess my, yeah, body language is a bit more feminine or something at least i'm just expressive but also i look a bit feminine still since i'm you know biologically female so that makes sense but yeah i'm on testosterone now so changes are going to happen i was a bit more irritated yesterday but i just really hope that doesn't evolve into like anger issues as i've talked about in previous video and we link that down below like things i'm scared for when it comes to starting on testosterone but yeah, I'm on fucking testosterone, y'all. And uh, I'm just so grateful, so amazing. Like, I'm so grateful to have you all. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will come out, I will come out with updates every month. Uh, so, you know, because when I was pretty, fuck, that's weird to say. <laughs> when I was pre-testosterone, I watched those videos religiously. Those, you know, monthly updates by Carmen Guerra. I still, like... I still fall asleep to that like playlist almost every night because it just makes me fall asleep and com it's comforting to watch or listen to like a podcast before falling asleep. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making tea updates soon. That's insane. But yeah, so wish you all luck, heathens. <laughs> stay safe, stay happy, take care, eat food, drink water, all that jazz. Love yourself, because I do. To the fuckies. Bye.